How's it going YouTube? It's me, Westlake, again here for another review of a uh, cool product I came across. We're coming at you a little differently this time, um, as you can definitely tell, a little darker, a little closer up, and there's actually a good reason for that. Uh, we're not going to be reviewing a paintball video again, and if you're still watching my videos for paintball reviews, um, honestly dude, it's been about three months, I mean, come on, move on, alright, seriously. No, this, uh, this product is something uh, a little different. Um, product I came across uh, all over the interwebs. It was uh, popular on, uh, on CNET, on Engadget, uh, Geekology, and various other you know nerdy uh, websites and everything like that. It was a huge item on Kickstarter. It was a guy was asking for only about $5,000 or $15,000 uh, and uh, got $60,000 in like less than a month. Uh, and that man was uh, Kevin Donahue. He in, uh, invented a special product, and that product was glow specs. And you're asking yourself, what are glow specs? Well, these are glow specs. So you might be asking yourself, so what are they? Well, they're honestly pretty obvious what they are to me. Uh, they are glasses that glow. Now, they are not sunglasses, uh, not in the least. Um, they're very clear, but what makes them so unique is that, yeah, the lenses are lit up, they're glowing, but what's so cool about it is that it's only one way. Uh, I know you can see a little light right here, we'll get into that later, but uh, you can still see through them while they're illuminated. Um, that's what was so cool about them, is this technology he invented of this one-way glass that allows light to reflect outward, but not back into your own eye, so you're not blinding yourself when you put them on. So that way, you can see just fine while they're on your face. And yes, I can see. I can do all sorts of stuff. You want me to sit here and touch my fingertips? You know, I can see that I'm still in frame on the camera, so obviously I can see just fine through these things. But they're glowing. They're lit up. Um, so the lenses light up in various colors, and they come in multiple colors. They come in the green here, and they also come in blue. And uh, they also come in red, but I didn't order red. I, in fact, I was going to do a review of these glasses when I first came across them and ordered them. And uh, I thought Kevin Donahue was going to send me a couple of pairs to really review, but uh, I still had to just buy my own. So I only got two. So yeah, the red ones I hear are the brightest, but uh, I'll just have to take everybody's word for it because I've got you know, only these. The first question you might have is, well, how do they work? Well, uh, that's a good question because I don't actually know. I'm a bit of an engineer myself, but I still don't really understand the principle of it. Uh, all I do know is it has to do with, you know, light refraction and everything like that. It's a fiber optic kind of an idea. You got LEDs right here in the earpieces uh, with the batteries back here, the light switch, we'll get into that in a second. The light is shining into the lens, not onto the lens, but into the lens, like a fiber optic cable, and fiber optics work on the principle of the lights bouncing around inside of them and uh, going out in every direction because it keeps bouncing around and exiting the material. But this has got a design in some way that is only reflecting it one direction, so there's some sort of coating on the inside. I don't know, the guy has a patent on it, so I don't know how it works, but it's some sort of reflection, sort of like two-way mirrors that's reflecting it outward, uh, but not inward. You got uh, a lenticular prism layer here, similar to that on a uh, on those 3D posters or on a uh, those little stickers you see where you turn them and they change the image moves. Uh, same principle of the idea, you know. It's just, but it's reflecting the light instead of the image. Now. The next question you might be having is what would you use them for? Well, I, not really anything, to be honest. They're just cool. You might use them in, say, a rave or a concert or just going out dancing. I happen to see a couple other uh, uses for them. I mean, definitely in film, uh, maybe advertising. I got a lot of friends who are dancers that I know from music videos that I've shot would love these in a dance video or something along those lines, you know, just to make anything look cooler. Uh, Sci-fi movies could use them for all sorts of stuff. Uh, and maybe just the technology itself could be somehow integrated into other things, I don't even know. Um, but uh, I know another idea for them is that you could take, if you're into cosplay and you're making an Iron Man cosplay, you could use these for the eyes, that kind of cool stuff. Uh, there's a lot of options out there, but really they're just a novelty toy. Even when they're off, and you can see, they're actually a clear lens with this sort of, it's like looking through one of those poster things as I explained already. It's it, Everything's kind of distorted. Uh, so it's not a very crisp, clear image, that's for sure. Uh, they light up with the push of a button back here and they have they have several settings. First one is quickly flashing. 
slowly flashing, and then of course, just on. That's it, that's pretty much the extent of it. That's what you, they do, that's what you would do with them, and uh, you know, outside of that, what more do you need? It's just a cool idea. The pros about them, I would say, is that they do in fact uh, work. They actually, you, I can see, uh, I can see the, the light glows really brightly, especially in the dark. The green, I think, is a little brighter than the blue, but uh, in person, but on the camera, the blue is definitely popping out more than, than this is, so I'm not sure why that is, but uh, in person, these are much more noticeable, and like I said, I hear that the red ones are even brighter yet. So I, uh, I personally think that's like if you're out on a dark night with some friends going out to just pop these on real quick and just sort of look cool, it turns heads. But after a few minutes, you're kind of over it, and uh, you know, even if you can't see, it is kind of nice that all you have to do is put them on top of your head, and they pretty much have about the same effect. So yeah, outside of that, I mean, other than having a little fun with them, say if you're, like I said, if you're into raves or something, I'm not into raves. I've never been to one, never want to go to one. I am, you know, occasionally going to concerts and stuff, so I could see these being kind of cool at a concert, especially at night outdoors. Uh, and then um, that's about it. If I saw you in a uh, club wearing these, just dancing, trying to dance with some girls, I honestly probably would punch you myself. I just don't see that as being a cool thing to do. Definitely would be cool at like a Comic Con or something along those lines, but realistically, they're just they're just kind of toys. Uh, you know, I, I don't. I'm not even gonna pretty much do anything with these after I after I have them, unless I have some event I'm going to. So then you might ask, so what are the cons about them? Well. First thing is, the company's slogan is, you can't see the light, but everybody else can. And that is a bit of a lie, to be honest. Um, you can definitely see the light. You can see it right there. Let me put this over the lens and give you an idea. It's clear, you can see me, you can see stuff going on, but you can definitely see this light right here. And it kind of gives you an image like this. Um, it's almost like you're looking through some sort of computer screen or like the, uh, especially with the greens, it looks like you're looking at like security camera footage or something like that. It's kind of weird. But you can see, and it's definitely not as bright as it is on this side. So it's not that bad. But realistically, uh, you know, they are not practical to drive in. Definitely can't drive in these. I would even recommend driving with them when they're off because of the distortion from, this, from the, uh, the lenses on it. I honestly wouldn't recommend wearing them for long periods of time either. I mean, I'm sure that eventually your eyes would strain from this. Um, I haven't tried that myself, but then again, I haven't done anything that would call for wearing something like this, uh, just other than hanging out with some friends and showing them off. The other big downside I have with them is that when you really have a pair in your hands, when you really look at them, um, you start to really see kind of how cheap they are. I mean, I, I. I mean no offense because I think they're really cool and I really hope uh, hope Kevin Donahue gets these really off the ground, but they really feel very flimsy. And if you say, well what do you mean they feel flimsy? Well you can take a look right at them. I can't really get them on the screen enough to show you, but the, the edge on this cut right here, um, it just looks like, especially in person when you look at it, and it's not so bad on these, but on this one especially, it kind of almost looks like it was hand cut. It doesn't look like it's machined. I'm sure it is, but it just looks, you see this kind of jaggedness to it, and I think that's more of the reflective layer than it is the actual plastic. But it just looks really, really poorly put together. Anybody who saw the original Kickstarter video knows that the original design that he advertised when he was on Kickstarter was that they had this squared off full Oakley kind of looking uh, lens. In fact, they looked just like my Oakleys here. Uh, these are Oakley Batwolves and they are a visor style which means there's no break here in the lens. It's one solid lens. But they had this very square shape with a single lens going across and the initial Kickstarter video advertised glasses that look like this but lit up. And to me, that was a lot better. It was a lot better design, a lot cooler. You had a closed off system, so it was a little bit stronger in construction, plus you don't see this jagged edge. Uh, and it just honestly looked cooler. I mean, this whole half jacket style of sunglasses is kind of out. Oakley still do them, but really it's not a popular style anymore. Everyone's going for this square look. 
uh, and everybody wants that square look. Plus, when you got it visor, do I have to say anything to nerds out there that are gonna love it? Because Jordy uh, and his visor, you know, that, it's just something Cyclops. Uh, any of those characters would really pique the attention of all the nerds and geeks out there that would love these, to be honest. Uh, and I, I just honestly think it looked cooler that way. So I wish I wish they'd kind of go back to that style. And he has said that he will eventually, but you got to invest in them before you can do that. You got to buy these. And at only twenty dollars a pop, that really is not a bad deal, to be honest. So I still recommend them, even though they're you know kind of flimsy and don't do too much and and all that. I, I still think they're really neat. I mean, it's a cool idea. I think there's a lot of potential behind them. So I want people to continue buying his products and investing in him and being, you know, and just building his company up so he can make more. He wants to make some that say stuff on them, such as like your favorite baseball team or your favorite football team, the band that you're going to see if you're gonna wear them at a concert. Or that may be a party foul, maybe a different band, I don't know. Can you imagine like the British flag or the American flag on those guys? I mean, that's a good idea. That's the stuff I think they should be working on, but they can't do it unless people buy the products, and people aren't gonna wanna buy the products if they look and feel as flimsy as these do when I hand them to my friends. My friends liked them, they thought they were cool, but they didn't really get in that idea that they wanted to invest in them because they just felt like $20 was a bit much for something that felt like it was gonna last one night. But, uh, I do have a lot of people in the film industry that are very interested in them, uh, very much wanting to purchase them, especially for music videos, and uh, that's, that's a good place for them to start. So if you are trying to get into the music video industry, or get your band recognized, this is an idea, man. You know, get some extra bucks going. I want to buy a whole bunch of them and stand out. I live in Denver. Concerts are crazy here. I want to buy a whole bunch of these and just stand outside those lines and sell them to, to people because people will eat them up. I go to the concert, normal concerts, not even raves, and those guys have those glowing gloves and those necklaces that are all lit up and they're all dancing in the background like they're tripping on X. I, you know, those guys would just fork over money for a pair of these. Like, so I, I think it's a, I think it's a cool idea and a good, good thing to invest in. And I definitely uh, would like to try to see if I can get a little more into them. But otherwise, this is my appeal to you, my fans, the people who watch my videos, and anybody who's just looking to figure out, are these real? Because after the Kickstarter video, it just, it seemed like everybody believed it was a fake product. It was a, a ripoff. But no, they're very much real. Here they are. They work. You can see right through. You can see my eye through that. And then I turn around and no, you can't really see my eye through it. So yeah, it does exactly what they say they're gonna do. And they look great um, in the dark. So it's a cool idea. And you got Halloween, you got concerts, you got Comic-Cons, you got uh, music videos, advertising all sorts of different ways to use these things. Um, so I say good job Kevin, keep it up. Um, I would love some more pairs uh, to look at. I would definitely like to see the visor come out. And uh, with that I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.